here in the United States. We've done a very good job at protecting our turtles, but what we've seen is the international trade is now expanding so much that it's moving into, frankly, moving into North America, into the United States, to the extent that it, it is a serious problem for us. SAFE is a relatively new program of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums that creates partnerships between zoos, but probably even more importantly, provides opportunity for partnerships to extend beyond zoos to a lot of our partners in federal agencies like U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the state wildlife agencies. It really lets us bridge the gap between what we do in zoos and aquariums and what's happening with the, the real animals out in the field. We're, we're combining our efforts with those of everyone else to, for a common goal, and in our case, that's to save turtles. So many people live close to turtles, and they're an animal that, that are approachable. Turtles, if you walk across uh, you know, the field and you come across a box turtle, uh, you're going to have a very close encounter, and those things uh, help us connect with these animals. Well, a lot of these um, wildlife conservation issues, when you read about them in the news, something we're concerned about, but it doesn't impact us. But when, it, when the trade does reach right into our own backyard, and the turtles that, are, that we're used to seeing uh, you know, are being actually literally taken from their homes and just being shipped into the trade, it, it, it's devastating. This is, this is a problem that's, that's far too big for one place to solve. We're starting the SAFE program with 13 zoo and aquarium partners. We have over 30 field partners, including uh, biologists and fish and wildlife agencies, both federal and state, and all the, the other institutions and agencies that are involved. The law enforcement, both the federal and state agencies, should be spending their time trying to protect the wild turtles, and if they need to confiscate or seize wildlife that are illegal, they should be free to do that and not be worried about taking care of turtles in the back room. So where, where we come in, is we can look at, at how we can assist in, in finding homes for the confiscated turtles and helping to develop a pathway for those turtles that have been confiscated to return into conservation programs. This is really gratifying for me personally. Um, you know, I've been working with turtles for over 50 years. In fact, I've been working with one population of wood turtles for over 47 years. The, the long-term well-being of turtles is, is really important to me and the idea that, that we can bring so many people together to, to work to, you know, for a common cause that can, can push us into the future to make sure the turtles are safe is, is, is very exciting. So really look forward to getting this project and program really going.